And while many of my colleagues today, I think, are going to offer you some very challenging theses to their paper and really probe you to think in new and different ways, the fundamental message of the paper that I wrote is quite simple. And it's that implementing large national initiatives that require diverse actors to cooperate is really, really complicated. Um, <laughs> I feel I could give that talk in other places and someone might disagree, but we're in DC, so we understand this. That doing something like this is an extremely complicated level. In order for the Common Core to complement and not conflict with efforts to improve schooling across uh, America today, it's going to require coordination from everything from the classroom teacher to the Department of Education. And all of those different individuals have different incentives and different views of the world and different things that they need to accomplish in their work day. Um, so to just try and give some look of how complicated I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be this complicated. Now, this is not a March Madness bracket for someone who picked Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, but if you pick Florida Gulf Coast, you should be in Vegas, not here. Um, but this is really just, I'm not trying to have you strain your eyes. I'm going to break this down in a minute. But just trying to lay out just how complicated. We were lucky, Rick and I, as we were commissioning all these papers, to have a series of calls with all of the different authors that we have. And almost every time I got off the phone with someone, I said, man, did not think of that. There's some issue that they brought up that is crucial for states or districts to do, and I hadn't thought of it. The, the best way that I can think to kind of organize all of the implementation efforts that have to take place are in sort of three phases. I would say right now we're in phase one, which is the time after the standards have been adopted, but before the assessments have been fully brought online. Um, and I'll break down in a moment exactly what's going on here, but then, you know, phase two is going to begin when we've brought the assessments to scale and we're piloting them and aligning curriculum and teaching and everything to them. And the third phase is going to start when those assessments become the status quo and are linked to accountability systems, teacher quality management, et cetera. So just briefly in each of these different, so if we're talking about phase one right now, all of the different decisions that need to take place in states and districts. So from the time the standards are adopted until the time that the, the tests are released, we have on this kind of top level all of the stuff that has to do with teachers. We have our new teacher preparation that's going to be necessary in our college of colleges of education and our alternative certification programs preparing people to teach these standards. We need professional development for all of the teachers that are already in schools, everything that they're going to need to learn to teach the new skills and the new content that comes along with these new standards. We also need serious infrastructure work for technology. If we think that the, the assessments are going to be computer-based, there's hardware and software issues that are at play so that schools can do that. There's also one of the great advantages to the Common Core, the sort of national market for applications, professional development, pedagogical tools. But there are serious questions about to what level should they be developed? Should they use kind of the existing Windows XP layer? Should they be designed for handheld devices or tablets? And a, a lot of these questions, depending on the bandwidth of schools, uh, are still lingering. And finally, I think there's a hope that eventually textbooks will be made obsolete. Uh, but for the foreseeable future, I think we have serious textbook questions. Do we have these sort of bridge texts that are coming out now that take the normal work that students have been doing and kind of adds on a little bit of Common Core stuff at the end? Depending on where you are in your buying cycle, you may have to purchase entirely new textbooks. But all of this is happening right now at various levels, different states, which we're, we're very excited to have different state chiefs here and all sorts of folks that are thinking through these issues.